Okay, welcome to the uh, second video that I'm doing on uh, improvisation for Trinity College uh, exams, the uh, stylistic one, where we play along to the backing track um, provided by the examiner who's probably playing the piano. Uh, and we need to have a system of improvising uh, our scales, our triads, to make them musical, um, but not get too bogged down in the chordal sequences underneath. So it's going to be, as I mentioned in the minor ones, uh, it's going to be more single line playing. We can add chords in, uh, but maybe I'll do that in the future. But here's our foundation blocks. Here's how we do it. We need to know uh, two shapes for major, like two shapes for the minor, and that will give us a, at least a two octave spread uh, of notes, which is plenty to provide some melodic lines uh, and improvise in the style of the track. Um, in the minor uh, ones, the two shapes, I showed a sheet that I give my students, and here's the one for the cage system, so the five shapes, uh, and these are for the major. And the beauty is, and this video is going to be a whole bunch shorter because uh, you're actually going to use the same shapes. You're just going to start on a different note. So this is how uh, jazz players, um, rock guitar players, electric guitar players, um, <coughs> they use a framework. Uh, they might use different frameworks, but they'll still use a framework so they know uh, how to do it. Uh, I mentioned that I see a lot of YouTube videos now saying, uh, hey dude, uh, don't learn scales, don't learn shapes, I'll teach you how to do it. Well, look, I suggest you go and look at those um, and see if you can do it from them because you might be able to, but this way you'll definitely be able to do them and it's not that hard. It's really not that hard to learn these shapes. So uh, let's go straight on. Uh, it's really simple. I'll start uh, with the A minor this time. Um, that was the second shape, the E minor shape, of course. Bringing a bar up to fret five, and now your root note on string six is A. So now we're playing the E minor shape, but we're playing the A minor chord. That shape was very simple. It was just a one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, back one, bring it back again. Then we've got the four fingers, four frets. So one, three, one, two, four, one. And then just a simple extension up to the C. This is a high note, which is great. Uh, and then of course, back down again. A minor, it's relative major. You go up three notes, A, B, C, and you get C major. Okay, so C major, we know C major is this chord. Okay. Okay, but we're not going to play it down there because we want to play it up here and intertwine uh, with that minor scale and it just make it a major scale. So all I do, I just simply go up three, A, B, C. It's the same notes, they're relative to each other. One's a relative major, one's a relative minor. Forget harmonic minors and melodic minors, forget all that stuff. Uh, just talking about natural minor and its relative major. Well, you can see from uh, the diagram sheet that I gave you, uh, it's exactly the same shape except starting from A. So A, B, let me get to C. C, uh, one, three, four, one, three. Yes, D, E, F, G, A, back one, B, bring it back into the four fingers, four fret shape. C, D, then one, uh, one, two, four, E, F, G, uh, A, B, C, one, three, four. And so that extension that I had in the minor shape, A minor going up to C, now completes the full two octaves of C to C to C. Two octave shape, exactly the same. So I don't even have to think about it. I can just go, oh, I can think, oh, my minor shape, just now fiddle it so that I start on C. The triads, uh, C, E, uh, sorry, C, E, G. Uh, C. We'll talk about that more in a moment. C E G C. Okay, so it's just different triads. C E G. Uh, job done. Two octaves. Yeah, that's that. That's the backward shape, string six. I talk about these front and back cells for one octave parts, uh, and then I've got the forward cell now for string three, which is one of the most comfortable shapes we can improvise in. It feels really good. Just a little flick back. Yeah, just take us back down the rest of the scale. Um, 
So before I chord these A minor shape, E minor shape, but playing the, in the key of D minor, A minor. Okay. This shape that we've now formed for the C triad there is just our G shape. So if I play G major here, yeah, got finger one free. I move finger three up to C, fret eight. Finger four goes on eight there. Bar eight at fret five. I get an awkward shape ready for guitarists, this one, uh, this G chord here, uh, but doable. Uh, and there's so I'm playing a G shape, but the tonic note is C, so the chord is C, C major, using the G shape. That's it. You've now just learned uh, a major shape that covers two octaves using one of the previous shapes, um, and it's job done. Uh, Improvisation, exactly the same way, so we get a backing track that's kind of doing something that I put on my website. Uh, it's actually more Latin than it. Yeah, so it gives a bit of a groove feel, so it just sounds nicer. Um, and off you go. You start with your triad. Yeah, however you want to do it, I'm just mucking about. You can hear stuff comes out, stuff doesn't. Um, then I go to my higher octave and can improvise there. I often do fingers three and four there, and a bar A right there. Yeah. However I want to improvise it again. And then back there. Yeah, I've added a scale note there. But, um, so very simple, you start with one octave, do your triads, then add a scale in. So let's uh, I'll do my favourite trick of going up a scale and then kind of landing on one of the triad notes to uh, rest it and make it feel comfortable. Yeah, C, E, F, G, and C, E, F, E, E, F, G. Or I could go on A, G. Yeah, then I'm just A, B, C, D, C, uh, and so on. And now everything works. I'm just adding in just uh, the passing notes of the scale to head for those triad notes. Um, you just repeat the same process here. You know, C, D, E, or just, uh, yeah, C, D, E, F, E, E, F, G, A, B, A, C. Yeah, eventually get to a, a resting note that I'd like to get to. Learn the shape. One octave at a time. Yeah, get it really good. Then, yeah, play with triads, add scales to triads, and then you can try some longer runs if you want. But again, I always talk about moving to places rather than leaping to places. So watch that minor video. It's a lot longer to give the explanations, but all the principles are the same. So da da, we've got um, a shape already. Let's go to the the shape I used before for the minor, it's in the key of D because uh, my root's the fifth string, fifth string minor shape, uh, the A minor shape but in now in the key of D. Change finger four over here and it becomes F major. I go up three, D, E, F to find the relative major, D, E, F. Let's have a look at it down here where we're kind of a bit more comfortable. A minor, yeah. A minor, fifth string, minor shape, take finger three, and lo and behold, we get our relative major C. All the same notes uh, in that key, and of course, all the same notes here. Okay, so F. And you can see that the problem for guitarists is that once we put all our fingers down, we've got none to move if we're playing... Uh, an improvisation piece where we want to play chords. You have to mix and match. You have to do some chord bits and some uh, scale bits uh, to form the chords, really. Um, however, let's just look at this. Uh, so it's on the uh, sheet I gave you. Uh, on the sheet I gave you, I took this back down to D because uh, at the time I was doing the sheet, I didn't really want to teach up to the middle of the guitar neck, so I did it down here. So B minor, minor shape just became D. D major, but I'll do it up here this time now because the higher grades. Um, so here's our shape. Uh, forget the D, E, the pretend notes, they're still there, they're still part of the uh, F major scale. So you can always run up to F major by just going, uh, Yeah, now I'm in F major, yeah. uh, and so on. So uh, F, uh, G, A, B flat, uh, C, D. 
begin to get it. Uh, F, G, A, B flat, C. So there's my kind of two octaves, uh, one octave and a bit going up to uh, C. And then if I wanted to extend, I can just go uh, D, E, F for the full two octaves. Yeah, and just go up there. Uh, that's it. Okay. Easy as that. Minor becomes major, D minor, D, E, F, F, now I'm starting on here, there you go, we've got it, that's a big one octave, so we can do our playing around with our arpeggios, uh, C up to F, C, A, uh, F again, uh, big leaps there, but that's okay when you're doing triad leaps, it sounds kind of okay, because you know where you're going. Uh, Practice one octave at a time, or higher octave with the extension, triads, add scale runs to it, job done. Okay, so really, really simple. There'll be backing tracks on my website for my student support pages uh, to play along. Um, and we'll have, um, on this one, I'll probably do, yeah, I'll put some backing tracks up and I'll explain it, but it'll be just using those two shapes. So good luck with that, and uh, I look forward to seeing uh, your improvisation in the lessons.